That tugging on your sweater, that's your adorable child deciding last minute that they want to give a gift. Well, the good news is that those little hands can craft simple, easy gifts straight from the heart. Here are some creative ideas this morning as Good Housekeeping Executive Editor, Megan Murphy. Megan, good morning to you. Good morning. We have your little munchkins here. Everybody's we so do. well behaved. I know, because they're so busy with the crowd, right? They're occupied. So I think some of the most meaningful, special, precious gifts don't cost a penny, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do some last minute DIY gifts that you can do with the kids that are truly priceless. My kids made I love it. It's a gingerbread man with Cute. their fingerprints. So it's their fingerprint necklaces with no big clay. Aww. They cut out the shapes and clearly they're occupied for hours. Uh, yeah. So you could be wrapping presents. No, they've you know, been sitting here quiet, well, waiting I'm quietly done. over here. This is so amazing. the real deal. That's the thing. Not only is it an amazing gift, but it keeps them really busy. Yeah. We made these little angels for our godmothers with the kids' thumbprint. This uh, heart for our babysitter with all of the kids' thumbprints. I hope Aww. they're not watching because I'm ruining all of the gifts. <laughs> Um, you know, cute. a snowflake for our college babysitter. And it's really, Love really it. simple. This is something you can do quickly at home, keep the kids busy while you're occupied. And then the thumbprint is cute. So yeah, when they're like right. 47, well, it'll be special. Thing. I think anything with a thumbprint is infinitely cute. more special. It kind of captures that moment in time, right? Yep. So these are ornaments we made with cookie cutters. And cute. this was our Christmas card this year. And we turned it into oh my gosh. an ornament. Right. Super horrible. simple, because it's one of those things you save year after year, the grandparents yes. save, it's and you so could true. hang it on your tree. I'm going to go home and make them from all the years. If you, I, I was just about to say, if you did this for every year. But we Cute. also did them with excess wrapping paper. This was an angel Christmas card. This was a little bit of cardstock. And they're really busy here. Them here. Look what Piper's doing. You take the cookie Fine. cutter, you trace it, you cut it out. You use glitter glue, because if you make a mess, it's just more glitter. <laughs> glitter. Right? And nothing oh, has to be perfect. Better. You're just having fun. And we're doing with some of our friends' Christmas cards, too, because I, I think that. it's a great host as gift, you bring the yes. ornament, you know, as a and last gift. And then yes. I have so many Christmas cards for my friends, it gives us exactly. something to do with them. then you're doing something with them. All right, what are you yeah. doing so here, this buddy? is, okay, we're making chocolate, strawberry, Santa, Yum. brownie bites. Now listen, moms, if you don't even want to make brownies, you can do these with store-bought brownies. We did them with store-bought brownies. All the brownies, little muffin things. And nobody knows the difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. You take a little icing, you squeeze it there, you put your strawberry on top, look at this. Good and job, buddy. And you give him his little pom-pom. How old are you? You can also do it with, um, I'm nine. He's nine. Right? He's doing nine. He's nine and, and he's taller than me if I take my heels off. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. And this is one of those things I like to have on hand. Like, the neighbor gives you a surprise gift. You go into the kitchen, you bust out a tray of, like, <laughs> yeah, it looks like you spend all, yes, right? all day they, on them. They too. look so hard, but, like, we did them in a hot second. Fantastic. This is very good. Oh, this makes me happy. So these, okay. these are flour sack dish towels that we made. This was my grandmother's pound cake recipe, oh. and I transferred it onto here. Oh, I love this. My eight-year-old nephew it. made this for my mom. Merry Christmas. And look how busy. I think he's making a letter to Santa. Look at this. And you know oh, what? There's great. Kids handwriting, first it's of all, so is precious, priceless. Right? Yeah. So look at this, guys. There's so no you can write out gift. anything and then, oh, you'll have it forever. Exactly. And you can use Sharpies. You can write on a plain dish towel you already have around the house. It's cute. We use dish flower towels. sacks. So simple. Okay. And secret, I traced, I did what I wanted to do on the computer and <laughs> yeah, then traced it good. out because I can't do a bunk cake. That's good. And I love he's doing it dear Santa, and by look the way. How busy Santa's he is. running out of time. He's got a lot. That's <laughs> right. Oh my gotta goodness. Hurry that up. <laughs> so these are like little art books or photo albums. And the thing here is you can really create them with anything. Here I took a bag, a handle from a bag and a bottle cap, glued some buttons, and made a little photo album, right? Mm -hmm. I gave the kids the Polaroid and look at they snapshots and made a little photo album. You That's can great. use computer paper and a keychain and for an O ring to tie it together. That's cute. Yes. Megan, this is all it's really so good. Personal. Stuff. I love how yeah, busy love the it. girls it's are. It's and so the kids personal are busy. And oh, look at that with the memories. Exactly. You can use stamps. Thank all you, your Megan. Craft supplies. Raid the craft supplies. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> good job. You have lots guys. of ideas. Hopefully, we're back in a moment. <laughs> this is today on NBC. Yeah. <laughs>